My name's Katie Glody. I'm the STEM footy manager at the Adelaide Football Club. I was a teacher for 15 years in primary and secondary and had a real love for integrating curriculum and it led me to sort of stumble across a resource from Dr Ricardo Valerdi in the States who's doing a similar thing with baseball and STEM over there and I thought well this is a great opportunity to use AFL in the same context. So the STEM footy curriculum is linked directly to ACARA. Um, over 25% of the year 7 science and math standards are covered off in the STEM footy unit. It's over five units and it could be over a whole term or school. Some are adopting that they'll do it in a week focus like Loretto did. Some schools are doing it over three or four weeks and some are just doing it a couple of lessons a week. So it's really, um, it's, it's able to adapt to the needs of the school and they can implement it the best way they see fit. I've always been interested in following a STEM path, particularly in maths or science. And I just feel as though that the STEM footy program has really helped me to um, become more motivated to follow something in that career path. The program came about from an opportunity at the Adelaide Football Club um, and a data to decision CRC company were able to collaborate together along with the Adelaide Crows Children's Foundation and develop a fund to be able to give me the resources and time to write the program. So I think that's really a big step from all three of those companies make, taking a leap and we're starting to see some really great results. How is that working? How is it rolling out in school? Yeah, sure. So the kids are being really responsive. Um, so when we're doing an activity such as looking at acute or reflex angles, normally a student wouldn't understand or make meaning from that. But putting it on the field, having Eddie Betts record where he's kicking his acute goals, then measuring that and classifying it, the kids are able to see, well, an acute goal is a short sharp angle and that's what Eddie's kicking it at and then they can make meaning from that and it's a lasting memory so then they can go right I can now use that later in life. Does this make some of those more um, challenging subjects more accessible? Yeah definitely so a lot of the kids like myself when I was younger are kinesthetic learners so once they can actually make meaning of it and do it physically they're finding that they're progressing more in STEM so I've had a lot of feedback from teachers with kids that are normally the ones that are being a bit silly at the back of the class are actually leading the conversations and actually leading the testing and the aptitude because they can make meaning from it so it's really helping them to progress their learning in an area they didn't think that was possible. This wouldn't be my first thought that STEM would be behind um, but trajectory it's like I never even knew that was a thing before this project but um, yeah it's taught me a lot and now I know a lot more and can bring more to my classwork and everything. So there really there is definitely that d data analysis it's not just about going and kicking the footies around? Yeah sure so it can be all inclusive for even the kids that aren't involved in AFL so it's about them going out there and looking at trajectory or angles rather than specifically kicking it and playing a game of football. So it's being more inclusive of those kids that would normally stay in the classroom and getting them out involved in a practical setting and applying their knowledge. It's definitely taught me that it's not just theory, it can be applied to um, things that I never thought really were possible like football and maths I never thought really connected um, but after doing like practicals and theory combined it's yeah taught me that there's lots there's a lot more to maths and football. Um, what's rewarding is uh, seeing the kids have those aha moments where they go, ah, oh, I understand now why I need to raise my leg a little bit higher to get that trajectory, starting to use those maths and science terms and putting it into a context that they're making meaning of themselves. So that's something that's really rewarding to see that they're making lasting memories. How do kids react when they, you know, first get told about the fact that it's a STEM footy program? I think there's excitement from a lot of the sporty kids and then there's almost a little bit of scaredness from those kids that aren't sporty because they think it's another sporting program. But once they get going and realise that it's about applying their knowledge and skills and STEM activities and them having the chance to take control of their learning, um, it seems to really quite bond quite well between both types of students and then they work together and progress. It's fantastic. I guess being less athletic, I never really thought that um, football or sport could be something that, like a career path that I could go to, go into and with like STEM. So knowing now that I could become a statistician or a financial consultant, looking at like investment, superannuation on a player's income, that's really given me like the courage to go out and try new things. 
I find it really important, especially um, in the AFL space, to start highlighting the fantastic athletes such as your Aaron Phillips or your Chelsea Randalls, and we're able to implement them into the booklets, especially the statistics component, where before uh, traditionally there's not much statistics on the girls' football players, so now we're able to put them into an activity where they're compared against boys using averages, and then that way they can sort of start to see that girls are just as comparable as the boys.